guys, it's time to unbox the brand new Nokia 6. It's finally here after a much wait and you can see uh, the specs on the back of the phone. Android 7.0 NuGet 4G LTE 64-bit Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of Intel memory and 5.5 inch 1080p display. So um, yeah, it's not a uh, it's not a flagship phone from Nokia. It is their mid-range device. Uh, but nonetheless, it is uh, a pretty popular phone. You can see Nokia 6 and it's rumored that they will release Nokia 8 and Nokia 9 in the future. So yeah, I'm excited and uh, let's just uh, pull the box and here you can see the phone itself. Just gonna quickly pull it out and we'll be taking a look at this bad boy. But first, let's take a look at the accessories. So, so we got some paperwork here and the same ejecting tool and also we have the USB cable. Okay, this is these are the headphones and this is the USB cable. I think it is type C. No, it is not type C actually. This is just a normal cable. And we also have the wall adapter. So I think this one does support fast charging, Qualcomm's quick charge technology. So yeah, that was what's inside the box. And let's take a look at the phone. It's wrapped up in the plastic. Let me just quickly peel it off. There we go. Wow. I have to say it feels quite good in hand. Doesn't feel like it's a budget or like a mid-range phone. I think it's costing around $250 worldwide price. But yeah, it has a really, really good metal feel. You can see the Nokia logo on the front, Nokia logo on the back, the camera, the flash, the power button, the volume rocker. On the left, we have the SIM card tray charging and the speaker on the bottom and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top let's see if this phone has any juice so i'm just going to boot this one up here and yes powered by android it's coming with android nougat which is a good thing and uh i'll be doing my full review as well as some comparisons you know the deal so please subscribe if you are new to the channel and uh, this is a returning warrior, 5.5 inch 1080p display. It's booting up. I think it's going to take some time. I'm so used to the boot up times of the Galaxy S8 and you know, the top end phones. Okay. It is on. And the battery is low, so I'm just going to go through the setup. Let me just change the language to English, United States. Going next, skip. Let's add the fingerprint scanner here. So first of all, we're just going to have a random pattern, lock screen pattern. And of course, it does have this touch home button. So you can see how it works. Okay, done. Just have the right one. I think you can have it up to five. So finish up later. Finish. Okay. We are here on the home screen. Battery is 10%. So I'm just going to increase the brightness so that you can see it more clearly. So swiping up will take you to the app drawer and uh, very less applications. You know, we got the Google apps and uh, not a lot of bloatware or anything like that. It's looking clean. And if we go into the settings, and check out the about phone section yes it is android 7.0 nougat the whole look of the ui from the notification panel to the settings everything is looking a lot like stock android so if we go into let's see camera and obviously here they have their own ui so we can touch to focus capture a photo you can also go into the main settings. You get three keys on the bottom. So we have the touch home button, which can be used as a fingerprint scanner, of course. And then, of course, we have the multitasking button and the back key. So it's looking great. Uh, Nokia 6 has been much, much requested phone from you guys i'm gonna be doing a lot of comparisons and see how this one will stack up against the competition initially i have to say i'm impressed by the build quality of this phone uh definitely super premium 